One of the can't-miss speeches at Observing the Frontier will be given by Pierre-Marie Robitaille. He has had a profound effect on how the observers see the sun, not the least of which came in the form of 40 lines of evidence for condensed matter. Planckian evidence, spectroscopical, structural, dynamic, helioseismic, elemental, and earthly lines of evidence comprise a compelling argument for a major rethink in science. Why should you listen to this man? Why should physicists and astronomers listen? If you search the internet, you'll find many people claiming he is wrong on the sun and on the basic physics he claims to upend. Dr. Robitaille is no stranger to claims like that. And yet, he has a habit of doing what can't be done. They said he'd fry people's brains when he wanted to use stronger magnets than had ever been used in MRI machines before. He did it. There's actually a good chance you've benefited from his breakthrough. He conceptualized and built the world's first ultra-high-field clinical MRI system at The Ohio State University, simultaneously ushering in a new level of understanding RF power requirements in MRI and of signal-to-noise. Why did some of the world's experts in this field think Robitaille would fail? Or better yet, why did Robitaille think he would succeed? The answer to both questions lies in understanding some key rules of physics. The best example here, when it comes to Dr. Robitaille, is Kirchhoff's Law of Black Body Radiation. Where mainstream physics has held a universality of this rule, Pierre disagrees, first showing why we needed to rethink how we measure temperature with radiative emission more than 10 years ago. When you succeed in the impossible, it makes sense to see where your insight might help the rest of science. His proof of improper universal application kept coming. He reviewed the last 150 years. We've been living with Kirchhoff's law for a while now. The essence of the emissivity was misunderstood. Data control with a detector was likely lacking. Robitaille has extended his revelations to other key physics concepts like Planck's formulation and the Boltzmann constant, and began rethinking grand conclusions based on those flawed theories. His examination continues still, more than a decade later, and his arguments are strengthening. Just last year, we saw a back-and-forth argument on these topics with a colleague from Harvard who followed losing a half-dozen discussion points by closing that he wouldn't engage further due to not having time to discuss the science, which seems, to me, to be his job. A few years ago, Robitaille turned his eye towards the sun as well. The flawed physics rules have been used to examine the cosmic microwave background and black holes, but it is the sun that the observers care about most. Dipping a toe into the electric universe realm, the revised formulas give us a liquid plasma star. Assuming you have watched our sun series here on YouTube, there might not be more you can learn about the sun in one place than 40 lines of evidence. You can find this paper and the others shown in this video by scrolling down and finding the links. Website members, you can find a longer examination of Robitaille's work in the Electric Earth and Sun section of SuspiciousObservers.org, and of course, everyone has the opportunity to come witness Genius firsthand in Pittsburgh this October. The first conference for the observers is shaping up to be quite the show.